Hi, thanks for tuning in to another episode of my podcast, Confessions of Reform Control Freak. My name is Brian Smith, and if I've learned anything at all in my 40-plus year career as general manager for a major retailer, college professor, and award-winning entrepreneur, it's this. Managing and leading others is a learned behavior. You can learn how to communicate and interact more effectively, build collaborative teams, resolve conflict, or lead and motivate others to perform at their best. My podcasts are ideal for first-time supervisors, managers, business leaders, or those looking to be promoted into a leadership role in their organization. Seasoned veterans will also benefit from tuning in. I'll give you my take on the ins and outs of today's business world and share some tips and techniques to help you strengthen your soft skills to manage and lead others the 21st century way, regardless of gender or generation. If I knew then what I know now, I would have led others differently. After listening to my Confessions of Reform Control Free podcast, I hope you will manage and lead others differently as well. Today's topic, Shit Happens, Figure It Out. Shit Happens, Figure It Out. I love that quote. It spoke to me because nothing ever goes exactly as planned. Too many obstacles can get in your way and throw you off course. You can't control what you can't control, but you can decide what to do about it. You have a choice to make. Shit happens. It's called life, so you can either step over it or step in it. You pick. You can either let it ruin your day and torpedo your plans, or you can learn the lesson he's trying to teach you and begin again, this time a little wiser and a little more informed. A positive attitude gives you power over your circumstances instead of your circumstances having power over you. Joyce Mayer The longer I live, the more I realize the impact of attitude on life. Attitude, to me, is more important than the past, education, money, circumstances, failure, successes, or what other people think or say or do. It is more important than appearance, gifts, or skill. It will make or break a company, a church, or a home. The remarkable thing is, we have choice every day regarding the attitude we will embrace for that day. We cannot change our past. We cannot change the fact that people will act a certain way. We cannot change the inevitable. We can only play one string which is our attitude. I'm convinced that life is 10% what happens to me and 90% how I react to it. And so it is with you. We are in charge of our attitudes. Those are wise words worth remembering by Charles Swindell. When defeat comes, accept it as a signal that your plans are not sound. Rebuild those plans and set sail once more towards your goal. Napoleon Hill Do you believe your cup is half full or half empty? I think my cup is half full. I choose to see the positives in everything that happens to me because I believe everything in life is a learning opportunity. Even the negative things that happen to you, and trust me, there will be plenty of them, are positives if you look at them from another point of view. It helps if you believe that everything that happens to you happens for a reason. Whatever happens today sets you up for what will happen tomorrow. Some people want it to happen. Some wish it would happen. Others make it happen. MJ. I am without a doubt the most optimistic person you will ever meet. Besides being an eternal optimist, I'm also a realist. I do have my Dr. Phil moments of clarity. I know that I can't control everything that goes on around me, 
but I do know that I can't control how I choose to react in any given situation. I know that between that space, between stimulus and response that Dr. Covey talks about and what Viktor Frankl knows to be true from his experiences, I must react in a way that will get me what we want. I know that shit happens, and I will figure it out. I know you know shit happens, and you will figure it out too. You've been listening to another episode of my podcast, Confessions of Reform Control Freak. Thank you for tuning in. Please give me a thumbs up or leave me a comment. Let me know what you think of this episode. If you want answers to questions about the challenges you face managing a lead of others, contact me at brian at briansmithpld.com. I'm here to help. To print out a hard copy of this or any of my podcast episodes, visit my website at briansmithpld.com. Are you or someone you know looking for a keynote speaker? a virtual presenter, or planning an in-person training session, please give me a call. I work with people who want to strengthen their soft skills and learn to communicate and interact more effectively, build collaborative teams, resolve conflict, or lead and motivate others to perform at their best. All four of my published books are available on Amazon in print and e-reader formats. The hardcover, special edition of my latest book, New Revelations from a Reform Control Freak, The Art of Managing and Leading Today's Diverse Workforce, includes a four-week online leadership training development program at no additional cost. Want to stay connected? You can follow me on Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. Thanks for listening to another episode of my podcast, Confessions of Reform Control Freak. And most importantly, have yourself one heck of a great day.